up to the top to go against each other. 20 minutes of regulation game time followed by a 40 point bonus question. I think I can do that in my sleep now. This is the Zai team. Let's meet them. David Martell. Jennifer English. Nick Bellantoni. Katie Schaefer. Okay, good luck again, Zai, to you and the Kai, Zai and Kai today. The Kai team, which is made up of Brian Falvey. Sylvie Brand. Stacy Cole. Frank Ceruzzi. Okay, speak up nice and loud for me. Katie and Frank, you're the captains. Mary Ellen, lend me a quarter. Who's going to get the flip here? We'll go to Katie. Heads. Heads it is, Katie. Frank, your team will not pick first. Katie, yours will. We'll move Nick up to the top along with Stacy. Mary Ellen, thank you very much. Start the clock. 20 minutes. Here we go. Okay, Nick, right to the board. Science for five. Science, five points. Here's the question. An insect that establishes colonies for feeding and the protection of the young is A, B, B, worm, C, housefly, or D, bird. Which one establishes colonies for the feeding and protection of the young? Five points. Zai, Nick, A. A is correct. Okay, shut down the light, Nick, and I'll come over here to Stacy. And a quick five-point lead. That's the way the game works, folks. Stacy? Spelling for ten. Okay, a ten-point spelling question. Stacy saw me just before we went on camera, and she said, what kind of a word would they ask for ten points on just spelling? <laughs> I wonder why. This kind of word, Stacy. For ten points, please spell stationary. Monogrammed stationary can be very expensive. Stationary. S T A T I O N A R Y. Stationary. Incorrect. Shut down, please. Lesser point value, and the first light I see is at the end. It's Katie. S T A T I O N E R Y. That's it, Katie. A R Y. Yeah, it's a natural mistake. Hi, Jen. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. You less nervous this time around than last? Mm, pretty much. Okay, well, I want you to talk to me about that hair after the show. I'm thinking of having mine done that way, okay? I think it would look nice. Go ahead. Um, math for five? Math for five points, and here it is. Estimate four times 398, the product to the nearest of which of, is to the nearest of which of the following numbers, 1,400, 1,600, 1,200, or 1,500. Estimate the product, please. Jennifer. B. B is correct. 1,600. Okay, shut down your light, Jen. And how are we doing on a score here? It's Zai, 14. And this, these names are going to throw me off all day long. And Kai, nothing. 14, nothing lead, Sylvia. We've been at it for a whole two minutes now. Um, spelling for five. All righty, a five-point spelling question. This is fun, Mary Ellen. Please spell cafeteria. One way of staying healthy is to stay away from cafeteria food. <laughs> mm, sure, let me say it. C-A-F-E-T-E-R-I-A. -E -E That's it. Okay. Of course, they couldn't possibly be referring to our school cafeteria here. Never. We love our cafeteria food, right, David? Thank you, David. Okay. <laughs> 14 to 5. Math for 10. Math for 10 points. Here it is. A star. That's not a 10-point question. That's our bonus question. The only one on the board for the day. So that 10-point question is now worth 20. Good luck. Here it is. What standard numeral is represented by the quantity of 3 times 10 cubed plus the product of 6 times 10 plus the product of 5 times 1? Product of 3 times 10 cubed plus the product of 6 times 10 plus the product of 5 times 1. What standard is that? Did they get that under the bell? Uh, no, they didn't. That's Frank. 3,065. 3,065. 
Very good, Frank. That's one of those questions that looks like you should be working on a pad for an hour, and you can really stare at it and do it right there in your head. And I think, Frank, that's what you did. I don't see a mark on your pad. 14 to 9. Brian? Science for 10. Okay, a 10-point science question. Here it is. An agent of erosion is... Give us an agent of erosion. Kai, Brian. Water. Water is certainly an agent of erosion. Very good. All right. We're moving right along here, Katie. We have about four minutes down in the game. Last time we chatted about a really interesting hobby I found of yours, which was, refresh our memory. I like to write books. Okay, and I believe they were like teenage romances? Yes. How many have you written? Three. Okay. Uh, is that something you really want? I mean, like, does the starving author idea scare you, or is that something you really want to follow up on? Well, I want to either be a novelist or a journalist. Okay, so you're going to do some writing. Good luck. Katie? Social studies for 10. 10 points under the social studies column. The first social studies question of the day. Here it is. While visiting the South, I became interested in separating seeds from cotton fibers. I invented a gin to do this job. Who am I? Eli Whitney. Eli Whitney. <laughs> I like your shirt, Frank. Thanks. Okay. You know how to get to me, huh? Uh, why don't you go to the board? We'll talk to you a little later. English for 25. A 25-point English question. Right to the bottom of the English column, the first one of the day. Here it is. What do we call a sentence when the subject follows the verb? What do we call a sentence when the subject follows the verb, Katie? Um, question? Is it a question, she says. It could be. You want to be a little more specific? She's going to need a little more information than that, Katie. Um, what kind? <laughs> I don't know. I need a yes or no. That's an example. They want the kind of sentence. Um, who wrote? Sorry, Katie. It's got the answer's got to be there. Shut down, please, dear. And lesser point values available, Kai. Seeing no takers. It's inverted. It's inverted. When the subject follows the verb, it's inverted. You both picked, so off you go. Stacy will bring you to the top, and Nick will bring you to the top. And Nick, your team gets first pick. 24-19. We've only got really a five-point game here and 14 minutes remaining, Nick. Social studies for five. Okay, a five-point social studies question. Let's see it. What is a straight in social studies? A narrow body of water connected by two larger bodies of water. Yes, says the social studies judge. Okay. Feel a little better now? You got that one? English. English for five. By the way, it's 24-24. I hope it looks like we may have be in for one of those weeks. English for what point value, dear? For five. Here it is. Grammatically speaking, what kind of verb does everyone require? Stace? Action. Nope. Shut down, please. Lesser point values available to you, Katie. Being? Sorry, grammatically speaking, singular. Everyone requires a singular verb. Okay, Stacy, you picked. Sylvia, come on up. Jen, come on up. Jen, I'm reading your uh, my card here that uh, gives me hints about what we can talk about. And it says here, I know you were Delta in the way, and we did talk about that, and that was great. Then it says, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. No gossip, life's a bore. Jen's... Uh, declared herself our school gossip last time on in on television is really are things that slow around here or what yeah no good gossip at all <laughs> no you want to start a rumor about anybody no no i could but i i don't want to okay well maybe later go ahead um english for 20 english for 20 points things are boring here at the middle school folks but stay tuned here it is define perused lisa perused her english homework as she waited for her mother. Define perused, Jen. She did it? Like, uh. Sorry? Shut down, please. Lesser point values available? Going once, going twice. Frank's going to take a shot. Why not? She set it aside. She didn't do it. Uh. Well, that's probably what I would have done, actually, <laughs> while I waited for... No, to peruse is to read carefully through, to examine something with great interest which I'm sure you all do to your homework. Right, Sylvia? Right. 
Right. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. You going out for a play this summer? Well, yeah, I want to try out at Cake Street School. Okay, what's the play? It's called The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> uh, the Wizard of Oz. I think, did anybody ever hear of that? Do you have a particular part? No, not really. You'd look good with a nice black hat. No. <laughs> Go ahead, hon. Um, potluck for five. Potluck, five points. Here it is. Which of these books would be first on the fiction shelf? Authors Mason, Macefield, or Maxwell? Jennifer? Macefield. That's correct. Those five points questions, usually it's a matter of speed. 29-24, we have a low scoring game, but a very close one. And we're almost halfway through here, David. Spelling for 15. All right, a 15 point spelling, please, Mary Ellen. Yeah, say I got you out here. I knew I could do it. We have our Amherst shirt on again today, huh? That's nice. Who goes there? Nobody. Please spell lasagna. Mr. Z had better stay off the lasagna if he plans to fit into his suit. So, okay. Lasagna. I get you for that. Go ahead, David. L-A-S-A-G-N-A. -A -A. Lasagna. Stay off the lasagna. 44-24. We got a 20-point game here, Brian, and you guys are on the short side at the moment. Science for 15. Science for 15 points would put a big dent in that difference. Ten minutes remaining in the game. We're halfway through. Science for 15, please. The unit used to measure distances in space is called... Brian? Light years. Light year. Very good. And that does put a big dent. Now it brings us to a five-point game. 44-39, Katie. We're halfway through. About nine minutes remaining here. Social studies for 15. Okay, 15 points under the social studies column. And let's see it. What organization was founded after World War II to keep world peace? Katie? United Nations. The United Nations is absolutely correct. Mary Ellen, this looks like a pretty good spot right here. I'm going to have you stop the clock at nine minutes remaining. It's 59-39, exactly a 20-point game. We've got another close one. So whatever you do at home, don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Michelle Morano. I'm a freshman at the Berkeley School. I'm majoring in word processing. My dad and I went to the Village Savings Bank to apply for a student loan. They helped us very much. If you're looking for a student loan, they can help you too. Let a Village Savings student loan help you with a high cost of higher education. Village Savings with offices in Portchester, Rye, Rye Town, Pleasantville, North White Plains, and Bedford Village. At 43, how does Tommy John feel about playing with younger teammates? They keep showing these stats up on the scoreboard, and I keep looking at the guys' ages, and I said, gee whiz, you know, I was, uh, I said, I, I had uh, three weeks in the, in the big leagues by the time this guy was born, and, you know, it, it kind of makes you feel, um, kind of makes you feel like you're around a lot of young players. It's what it makes you feel like. Get to know Tommy John on Sports Channel, number one in New York sports. Welcome back, everybody. We have a 20-point game here. That's 59 on the Zai team and 39 on the Kai team. And Mary Ellen, if you'll get that clock going, we have nine minutes remaining, and we're going to go to Frank. Science for 20. All right, a 20-point science question, Frank, is the exact difference in the score right now. Is. A cell wall is found only in Zai, Katie. Plants. Plant cells, absolutely. 
It's not the kind. Of, do you do any studying in preparation for brainstorm? No. No, it's, it's really not the kind of thing you can really go home and study for, is it? Go ahead, Katie. Right to the board. Social studies for twenty. Twenty points. Social studies. Here it is. Who is the leader of the Sons of Liberty in Massachusetts? My goodness, you are fast. Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams is absolutely correct, Katie. 99-39. Come on up to the top, Stace. Come on up to the top, Nick. Nick, your team does choose first, so I'm going to come to you. Uh, how's the sports going? Okay. What are you doing? I'm playing baseball. Okay, and you just finished with football, right? Yeah. So you keep the folks pretty busy at home rooting after you, I'm sure. Go ahead. Science for 25. Science for 25, he says, rather matter-of-factly. The last science question of the day with eight minutes remaining. Here it is. Which element is present in all organic compounds, Nick? Carbon. Carbon. <laughs> Stacy, they have just put the moves on you guys right here. They, yeah, you had 20 point, 20 point difference just a minute or two ago. 124.39, you have fallen behind, but things can turn around just that quickly on Brainstorm, so let's go, guys. Math for 15. Okay, a 15 point math question reads as follows. Divide four and a half by nine. Stacy, Kai. Point two. Point two is incorrect, please. Lesser point values available. The first light I see is Katie at the end. Point five. Point five is correct. Or one half. Okay, Stacy, you picked that one, so we're gonna bring Jen back up to the top. Come here a second, John. Come on. I want you to check out these pants. That's why I pulled her out there, huh? <laughs> I love it. Look. Gee, did you wash them and they shrank or what? <laughs> no. no. Okay, come on. Yeah, I know. Life's tough, huh? Potluck for 15. <laughs> okay. Potluck for 15. She'll kill me later. Here it comes. Insulin is a substance used to treat people who have what disease? Jennifer? Diabetes. That was a very affirmative answer. I liked it. Diabetes. 145. 39, Sylvia. Um, English for 10. English for 10 points. She says, here it comes. Place in commas, please. Place in all the commas where they belong. Sailors, passengers, cargo, and mail cross the Atlantic. Jennifer. Sailors, comma, passengers, comma, cargo, and mail cross the Atlantic. That's it. Nerve-wracking, isn't it? My goodness. Come on up here, David. What do you like to do, David? Um, play sports. Play sports. What do you want to do when you grow up, David? <laughs> uh, play sports. <laughs> right. Spelling for 20. 20 points. Spelling. It's got a broad range of interests, David does. Okay, for 20 points, please, spell misdemeanor. A misdemeanor is less serious than a felony. Misdemeanor. She was also the runner-up to Miss California. Misdemeanor. No, I'm... S Never mind. Lesser point value. It's Kai with Stacy. M-I-S-D-E-M-E-A-N-O-R. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, well, we might just, these things pop into the top of my head. A special hello to a young fan out there by the name of Barry Winnick. Barry, and thanks for your correspondence. It's nice to see you. And your sister Evelyn wanted us to give you a special hello. Who's picking here? Brian? Okay. Potluck for 20. Potluck for 20. Here it comes. Maybe. What world famous U.S. Marine Corps band leader had an instrument named after him? What world-famous United States Marine Corps band leader had an instrument named after him? Brian? Sousa. John Phillips. John Phillips Sousa. The Sousa phone, I believe. Named after a girl who named Susie, who was on the phone a lot. Katie? Social studies for 25. Social studies for 25. I'm sorry, Katie. I don't write them. They just come. Go ahead. What freedom did Rhode Island grant to its settlers? Katie? Freedom of religion. You got it. 
Frank, you're the captain of this team, and I know you've been taking your responsibility very seriously here. Now, let's let's go. This is still 180.67. There's lots of high point values left, and we've got about four minutes, so let's not give up here. Let's go get them. It's going for 25. That'll do it. Yeah. Let's get tough here. Yeah. 25 points. Spell. Yeah, if I can say it. Pandemonium, please. Pandemonium. The reason for fire drills is so that pandemonium doesn't strike when there's a real one. A real fire drill, I guess. Pandemonium. P-A-N-D-E-M-O-N-I-U-M. -E Very good, Frank. I could barely say it, and these guys are spelling it. 180 to 92. Okay, Nick, how we doing here? We've got, uh, yeah, a nice spread of values with about two and a half minutes remaining. Potluck for 10. The 10-point potluck question is the wise choice for the team that's in the lead. Here it is. What is the abbreviation for the word reverend? Nick? Capital R-E-V period. Okay. How often have we seen somebody leave out the period on Brainstorm and hear that buzz? Very good, Nick. 190.92, Stace. Math for 20. Math for 20. Remember, there's a 40-point bonus question at the end of this game, folks. Go ahead. Find the value of... My God. That's the fastest light I've ever seen, Stacey. Go. Negative 6. Sorry. Shut down, please. Less the point value. Nick. Positive 10. Positive 10 is absolutely correct. I'm glad they got to see it before I could say it. 198, 92, Jennifer. Potluck for 25. Sure, we have a, under two minutes remaining in the game. Potluck for 25 points, the last of our potluck questions for the day. Okay. What are complementary colors? What are complementary colors? Just watch what I wear and don't. <laughs> like this, this is the Pee Wee Herman look today. Complimentary colors. Katie? Red, yellow, and blue. I think they're considered, you gave them the specifics, and they want the general definition of what is a complimentary color. The main colors, which all colors can be made from. Those are, those are primary colors. Shut down, please. Complimentary colors are those that are considered opposite, opposite each other on the color wheel opposite each other on the color wheel. And if you don't think I looked that one up before the game. Sylvia? English for 15. 198 to 92, English for 15 points. Here it is. Capitalize the proper words, please. Just the capitals. The state of Texas on the Gulf of Mexico has huge cities. Sylvia? Capital T on the, capital T on Texas, capital G on Gulf, capital M on Mexico. Absolutely correct, Sylvia. <laughs> Shut down your light, dear, before you go away on me. And now we'll switch and bring David up to the top. 198, 107. There's one question remaining on the board worth 25 points, David. Math for 25. Math for 25. An excellent choice there. I would have made the same choice myself. Let's see it. 8 is 40% of what number? 8 is 40%. Of what number? Time is out in the game. I'm looking for a light. And I see it. Kai, Brian. 20. Absolutely correct. <sighs> Our official game time is out. Our score is 198, 132. We have a 40-point bonus question, which will bring you very close, but will not make the difference in this game. So we already have our winner. Please, however, let's finish the bonus question. And remember, absolutely anybody can answer the bonus question. It's worth 40 points. The first light I see gets it. Here it is. One third is to nine, as two is to what number? That was quick, Katie. Six. Too quick, Katie. Shut down, please. You may have it for full point value. Full point value, Kai. Time out? Did I hear a buzzer? Time is out. Okay. There. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. 54 was the correct... 54 was the correct... I didn't hear a buzzer. Did you hear a buzzer? 54. 
How about a hand for two great teams and the winner? Boys and girls, at the beginning of the program, you saw me give away a T-shirt and the Brainstorm Achievement Certificate. Please write to me and tell me what you're achieving at school. And if I read your letter on the air, you will get both, okay? So please write to me, Mr. Z, care of Porchester Middle School, Bowman Avenue, Porchester, New York, 10573. I really do look forward to hearing from as many of you as I can. I've got a great batch of letters to pick from every week. Thank you, Mrs. Singh and Mr. Nostro and Mr. Ryan for being our judges once again. Thanks, guys, from Adam Russell. Boys and girls at home, please remember, you've got to learn it to earn it. We'll see you next week. Come on out, guys.